<laughs> Hi, my name is Riley Westerholt. I'm Natalie Harrison. I'm Emily Weisling. I'm Amanda Marco. We're from Wimbledon High School. Goose. And this is false, false advertising. advertising. Commercials are supposed to make us feel something. <laughs> and we feel disappointed. These are not the results my TV told me I could achieve. Big Mac does not look like the ones in the hands of Johnny Manziel. Why does this all beef patty taste like sawdust and preservatives? What part of the chicken is the nugget? Is it the eyes? <laughs> or, or the, the feet? feet? <laughs> Maybe both. Probably both. But either way, I'm loving it. What I'm not loving is that Dove told me I, I could be confident. confident. So I lathered myself in soap. But I still feel like a goose. Wait, you become a swan. But, but this, this is, is about a Dove, Dove commercial. commercial. Her family, like, all that propaganda on Twitter. Telling me to buy these sexy boyfriend, boyfriend jeans. jeans from the Gap because Kylie Jenner wore them on the cover of Teen Vogue. We're mindlessly singing Nationwide is on your side. I'm wondering if any of these companies actually are. Aeropostale, the clothing store of your middle school bully has been doing poorly as of late. But not to fret! <laughs> Aero CEO told investors that the teenager today wants to fit in. If there's a brand from Aeropostale, it's, it's that, that a teenager can wear our clothes, go to school, and not be teased or made fun of for the way they look. Apparently, Aero is like Kevlar against insults. Bullies will see my white v neck arrow emblazoned across the chest. An inexplicable beach in the background, and suddenly, in a school of white middle class. Conservatives, we are no longer poor, Asian, or gay. Thanks, Thanks Arrow! If I had known a 50 dollar teacher would save you from teenagers, teenagers armed with insults based on my insecurities, you might not be going out of business. But, but that's, that's not, not our business. business. We're consumers. Who buy first and ask questions never. never. That way we'll never know that these Fortune 500s are profiting, profiting from our desire to be liked, our want to fit in, our fear of being too original. So they're marketing a hundred and eight dollar Ravens but they don't want us to actually see that our worth can't be defined by dollar signs. You can't put a price on experiences. That soap will make your past any cleaner. We can't let our happiness depend on what comes in the Happy Meal. What these advertisements don't understand is that they're telling us they can live our lives for us. We no longer have to strive for anything. Everything can be bought. We can be bought. But the thing is, to pay for what they tell us we need. What I need is a body hair removal product that doesn't seem like it's being sold to me by Nash Rear. What I need is a pair of jeans with some real frickin' pockets because where else am I going to put the things you're trying to sell me? What I need is some fast food that doesn't make my digestive tract like, like that of a three-toed sloth. <laughs> what I need is a clothing company that wants to cover my body and not their assets. What we need is to be valued instead of bought. To have consumerism for the consumers to feel feel more important than the product we're buying. It's time for the goods to be as good as we are. Yeah.